In the name of love, we often forsake many things, bestowing deep care upon those whom we cherish in our hearts. However, at times, this affection turns into disappointment as they exploit our kindness for personal gain. They treat us as friends when they need us, but once they obtain what they desire, they swiftly depart like fleeting birds. Yet, can we alter this situation and reclaim agency? By simply avoiding specific tenets of behavior, we shall swiftly observe a shift in dynamics. Let us embark upon this journey. Firstly, refuse to alter life trajectories for others. Do not change your life to accommodate others. It's akin to wearing shoes that are too tight, causing unnecessary pain. Each step you take in their direction deviates you from your path, losing your pace and forgetting your goals. As Seneca stated, attempting to exist in too many places means you are essentially nowhere. When you constantly strive to meet others' expectations, you lose yourself. Instead of blending in like a rainbow, it's time to be proud of your colors. Do not shape your life for others. It's time to walk your own path. Being true to yourself, your life is not a compromise. You are here to script your own epic tale, not someone else's. Secondly, break free from obsession, embrace freedom. Do not let obsession with someone ruin your life. Do not revolve your life entirely around them like a satellite trapped in orbit. Being too fixated on others will diminish your vision of your own future. Your dreams and uniqueness start to fade as you only worry about their needs and desires. It's like giving away all your water while you remain thirsty. As Marcus Aurelius once said, if you are at peace with yourself, you are at peace with the world. Overly focusing on someone disrupts your balance. You end up merely a shadow living by their rules, losing sight of your worth. Shake off their control. Don't just be a moon orbiting their planet. Start shining like your own sun, illuminating your own path. Your life is not a supporting role in someone else's story. You are the protagonist of your own life. Always remember this. Don't let anyone dim your light. Thirdly, safeguard your mind. Cherish your happiness. Do not let anything harm your mental health or happiness. Sacrificing your mental well-being and happiness for others is harmful and meaningless, akin to setting your own house on fire to keep others warm. When you neglect your health to please others, you are handing over your happiness to their control, ultimately trying to make them happy while you're sad. Step back, regain control. Your mental health and happiness are too important. They're not something to sacrifice. Don't sacrifice yourself in someone else's story. Become the protagonist of your own story. Fiercely defend your peace and happiness. Strengthen your mental resilience. Don't let anyone steal your joy. You control your thoughts, not a doormat for others. Fourthly, maintain friendships and cherish family ties. Do not distance yourself from friends or family for others. Avoid keeping them at arm's length due to obsession with someone. It's like cutting off a part of the tree that supports you. Each friend and family member is like a branch supporting you. If you start pushing them away, you not only lose friends, but you also dismantle your support network. As Plato said, people are like soil. They can either help you grow or hinder your growth, causing you to wither. When you distance yourself from those you love for the sake of others' approval, you choose a difficult path. Reconnect with those important to you. Take care of your support network. Your friends and family are unique. They're your foundation, your support system. Stay closely connected to those who have always supported you. Fifthly, value time. Find equilibrium. Do not squander an excessive amount of time on others, nor allocate all your time to a single individual as if they were perpetually insatiable. It is akin to pouring your time into the void. Each minute you excessively focus on them is a minute irretrievably lost from your life, time being your most precious possession. It is not a commodity to be gambled in the game of catering to others' demands. Seneca once remarked, It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. 
devoting all your time to others, Signifies relinquishing the best parts of life. Reclaim your team. It belongs to you, not to them. Do not allow them to become the nucleus of your existence. Find a harmonious balance, wisely utilize your time, cherish it, and expend it on activities that bring you joy, aid your growth, and fulfill you. Remember, you are the master of your time. Do not squander it on those who may not appreciate a single second. Sixthly, safeguard privacy, uphold boundaries. Refrain from divulging every aspect of your past, particularly the most arduous moments, as if laying bare every secret and challenge faced. Your past, especially its hardships, is personal. It constitutes your own narrative, aiding your growth during trying times, and is not meant for others' amusement. Nights once said, when we are tired, we are attacked by ideas we conquered long ago. Discussing all your past secrets means confronting old issues, now vulnerable to harm or exploitation. Safeguard your secrets securely within. Not everyone should be privy to them. Share only what is necessary, but safeguard the crux of your narrative. This is what makes you resilient and protects your essence. Do not yield your protective shield to others. Be cautious about whom you trust. Your life story belongs solely to you, not for the entertainment of others. Seventhly, reject compromise, uphold authenticity. Do not acquiesce to tasks merely to appease others. If it does not resonate with you, it is akin to donning a mask that stifles your breath solely to please others. When you consent to tasks you dislike, you not only disregard your own preferences, but betray yourself. It is akin to overlaying your favorite color with one you abhor. Albert Camus once said, to be happy, we must not be too concerned with others. When you start doing things out of coercion rather than willingness, you begin to experience anguish and lose self-respect. So, discard that mask, cease saying yes incessantly, learn to say no to what you dislike. Your life is not a theatrical performance staged for others' gratification. Be genuine, treat yourself with honesty. If something feels amiss, refrain from it. Live life on your terms, do not act at others' behest. Remember, you are the protagonist of your life, not a supporting character in someone else's narrative. Eighthly, fear not solitude, cherish the self-making decisions out of fear, particularly the dread of solitude, is akin to wandering aimlessly in the dark. When you make choices due to the fear of being alone, you may find yourself in uncharted territories. Remember, solitude is not synonymous with loneliness. Aristotle once said, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Invest time in understanding and appreciating your own company so that when you choose to be with someone, it is because they enrich your life, not out of fear of their absence. Treasure your own company. Do not let fear dictate your decisions. Ninth, appreciate and treasure your achievements. Do not forget to celebrate your accomplishments, even if they seem small. We often become too consumed with trying to please others or meet their expectations, to the point where we forget to acknowledge our own successes. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory and should be celebrated. Epictetus teaches us that we should not only seek admiration from others, but also admire ourselves. Take the time to appreciate your efforts and achievements. Celebrating your progress helps build confidence and reinforces the importance of your personal journey. Your achievements belong to you alone and deserve recognition. From the perspective of the Stoic school of thought, remembering the power of your choices and the importance of living in harmony with your true nature is crucial. Stoics, such as Epictetus, teach us that our happiness and peace come from within, not from external circumstances or the approval of others. 
You have the power and wisdom to make decisions that suit you, even if they contradict the desires of others. Tenth, the power of choice lies with you. As you navigate through life, focus on cultivating virtue such as wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control. These are the true markers of a fulfilling life, rather than how much you conform to others' expectations or desires. Remember, you have the freedom to choose your own path, embrace your uniqueness, and write your own story, rooted in your values and beliefs. You don't need to compromise your integrity for others or sacrifice your well-being. Instead, take control of your life and make choices that reflect your authentic self. The Stoic school believes that true freedom comes from within, from recognizing that our thoughts and actions are determined by ourselves. So, when you feel compelled to comply, surrender your time or share things beyond your comfort zone. Remember that you have the power to choose differently. You don't have to live according to someone else's script. You have the right to create your own story based on what truly matters to you. It's time to make a change. Start now. Commit to stopping these behaviors and strive to be the best version of yourself no matter what. In our lives, we often get influenced by external forces and overlook the voice within us. However, the wisdom of Stoicism teaches us to reconnect with our inner selves, embrace our true nature, and courageously make choices that align with our values. Don't let others' expectations or desires dictate your actions because your life belongs to you and you have the power to shape it and write your own unique story. Remember, you are the protagonist of your own life. You have the power to shape your destiny and create a brilliant narrative for yourself. May your journey be filled with wisdom, courage and freedom and may your story radiate a unique brilliance. Don't forget that you are the captain of your life. Use your choices to create the most beautiful picture for your life. Thank you for watching. May your life be filled with beauty and meaning. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And once again, thank you for watching. Until next time.